Those who are drinking from the same fountain of blessing will draw nearer together. Truth dwelling in the hearts of believers will lead to blessed and happy assimilation. Thus will be answered the prayer of Christ, that his disciples might be one, even as he is one with the Father. For this oneness, every truly converted heart will be striving. With the ungodly, there will be a deceptive harmony that but partially conceals a perpetual discord. In their opposition to the will and the truth of God, they are united, while on every other point they are rent with hatred, emulation, jealousy, and deadly strife. The pure and the base metal are now so mingled that only the discerning eye of the infinite God can with certainty distinguish between them. But the moral magnet of holiness and truth will attract together the pure metal, while it will repel the base and the counterfeit. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near, and hasteth greatly. But where do we behold the true Advent Spirit? Who are preparing to stand in that time of temptation which is just before us? The people to whom God has entrusted the sacred, solemn, testing truth for this time are sleeping at their post. They say, by their actions, we have the truth, we are rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing. While the true witness declares, Thou knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. With what fidelity do these words portray the present condition of the church? Knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked? Messages of warning dictated by the Holy Spirit are borne by the servants of God. Defects of character are presented before the erring, but they say, that does not represent my case. I do not accept the message you bring. I am doing the best I can. I believe the truth. That evil servant who said in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming, professed to be waiting for Christ. He was a servant, outwardly devoted to the service of God, while at heart he had yielded to Satan. He does not, like the scoffer, openly deny the truth, but reveals in his life the sentiment of the heart, that the Lord's coming is delayed. Presumption renders him careless of eternal interests.